up guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. It's really funny because I just got done filming my review for Cali by Amore in the color Melted Marshmallow and here I am reviewing Ivana Monocap, which is part of the Amore collection from 2018 in the exact same color and it's making me slightly rethink getting them both in the same color because even though I'm obsessed with this color, it kind of looks like it's just Cali but shorter in a way. Uh, only because it's wavy, but so it's kind of funny. I just reviewed such a similar looking wig and now I'm reviewing this one. But I have so many things to say about this wig. Uh, first impressions about the style, about the cap construction. So if you want to learn more about Ivana Mono Cap, then keep on watching this video. So this is the really popular style that was originally part of the Rene of Paris general collection called Ivana. And since releasing the original Ivana, they then released Ivana Partial Monofilament, which means that it's a monofilament cap just on one side. And now they have officially released it as part of the Amour 2018 collection as Ivana Mono Cap. Now, a big part of the reason that I wanted to review this wig for you guys is because Ivana is such a popular style, and I've gotten a bunch of questions on my Instagram asking me if I knew the differences between Ivana Regular Cap, Ivana Partial Monofilament, and now Ivana Mono Cap. And I personally had never tried Ivana with the other cap constructions, but I would always seen the style and really, really thought it was such a great style. So now I'm excited to show you guys with the mono cap as well because I personally prefer monofilament caps typically over standard caps just because they look a lot more natural on the part and you can style them in different directions. To really know the difference yourself, it might be a good idea to go into a local wig store if you have one uh, to see how the different caps feel on your head and how they look to you. Or maybe if you don't have a wig store in your area, maybe order both and return one, which can kind of be a hassle, but I think it's definitely good to be able to try on wigs before committing to buying them. So I think it's definitely really nice to have a local wig store near you if that is an option. So if you're not familiar with the Ivana style, it is a, like a little bit longer than chin length and it's this really, really pretty wavy style. I think that's so pretty. It's the same length all the way around. So I've always seen this style as part of the Rene of Paris wig collection and I have always, ever since it came out, thought it was like one of the prettiest styles that they've released. I think it's so great. I tend to love like this length hair or even like in this general length range because I always feel like shorter wigs are a little bit more manageable and I think that with the waviness it's kind of like a really cute flirty style. So now I'm going to jump into the cap construction because even though it is just their usual monofilament cap, I it definitely does feel a bit different than their other caps. For one thing, it actually does have lace front, which the typical Amora caps don't have. So here is the lace front close up. So I kind of just threw it on. I didn't really do anything to like perfect it or anything, but I think even on its own, just throwing it on, it definitely does look very natural. And so if you aren't familiar with lace front wigs, the benefit of that is that it just makes the, um, the part look extremely natural, but like on the very, very front of the wig cap. Whereas without the lace front, in some ways, it might look a little bit more blunt. So like with a standard wig cap without the lace front, you probably wouldn't want to do like this kind of directional styling because then where the cap meets your head can look kind of unnatural in some cases if you're not careful, whereas the lace front kind of um, makes that part of it look really natural. I feel like people consider lace front wigs to be like the best types of wigs because of how natural it looks in the front. However, I never really felt a need to have lace front wigs just because I kind of tend towards styles with a side bang or a bang, and even this style kind of has a bit of a side bang, so you don't even really see that part of the scalp anyway, so I personally feel like the lace isn't totally necessary, and it does make it ever so slightly, like the slightest bit less comfortable just because the lace isn't like the most comfortable material to have on your scalp, but at the same time, it's something I would totally get used to. So I noticed this about the Cali wig as well, and uh, so both the Ivana wig and the Cali came with this feature, but for some reason, with these new styles, they arrive with the part kind of zigzagged, which I find odd because I personally think that doesn't look the most natural, but since they are, um, this one is double monofilament and that one is fully hand tied, you can change the part to not be that way. So I'm gonna do that really quick because I personally don't think a zigzag part looks the most natural. I wonder if it comes zigzagged almost as a sign that it's like new. Does that make sense? <laughs> or like maybe, I don't know, I can't think of other reasons it would be zigzagged. Can you guys think of a reason for that? Maybe you guys think it looks more natural that way. Let me know in the comments below, but I personally want to change that. Yeah, even already I like only gave it like two brushes and it already looks slightly better. So this just looks like a typical double monofilament cap from the Amore wig collections on top. Like it just looks 
uh, very, very natural on top, and you can part it any which way uh, within the confines of the double monofilament part, which goes like pretty much like the whole middle part of your head where you would want to part it anyway. One thing I will say is that this cap, even though it is still a double monofilament cap, it definitely feels a little bit different both on my scalp and also when I like pat my head down. So this might be a sizing issue, I'm not totally sure, but for some reason the monofilament cap on this particular wig almost feels ever so slightly crinkly, especially when I pat it down because it kind of like bubbles up on my head, which other Amore wigs don't. And I feel like if you look at me, you can kind of tell a little bit that it kind of bubbles up. Like, if I press it, push it down, you can tell, like, my head isn't that shape, but then when I let go, it kind of just, like, puffs up. And it feels like the monofilament cap is, like, it just kind of sticks up and it won't go down, and I don't understand why that is, because it is different, different from their other wigs. Also, I had the same issue when I was trying on Cali as well, but for some reason, the cap feels a little slightly bit larger to me than it usually does. The other Amore caps usually fit me perfectly. They are adjustable around your head. And this one feels like it fits around my head, but it's just like the top of this wig feels like it's a little bit baggy. So here is the cap construction. It's very similar to their normal double monofilament caps. So this is the double monofilament part. This one has about two inches of lace front in the front of the cap, which is a nice addition. And then it also has like this wefting all around, which I actually prefer because I feel like it's just very simple. Uh, and I think this is definitely a nice feature. And then it also has a uh, felt on the back of the neck for extra added comfort as well as at the ear tabs. This is a new thing with this year's wigs as well. And then it also has the adjustable straps with the normal adjustable band. Whereas the Cali actually had like a Velcro band this year, which I find interesting. But here's what I'm talking about with the top of the cap. Like you can almost see like it's crinkly. Like if I push here, it, it like the whole thing bends. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know if it's something that can really come across on camera because it's a very tactile thing. But you can kind of see it kind of like reacts more like plastic when you touch it. Not that it feels like plastic per se. It's not that intense of a difference, but it just kind of feels kind of more like tarpy, whereas the other double monofilament caps that they have tend to feel more like cloth. For comparison, here is the cap construction of my Cody wig, the usual Cody, like the standard Cody, not the not Cody XO. This has the double monofilament cap as well, and this one, you can even see the way it reacts when I touch it. It's not like plasticky. This just feels so much smoother, and it doesn't like crinkle when I move it. Whereas this one, I feel like you can almost hear like a crinkly sound. Like listen really closely, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on the mic at all, but... I'm hoping that's a problem that will kind of fix itself the more I wear it. Maybe it just needs to like relax a little bit more and like kind of lose that rigid... rigidness? It was just so odd to me at first that even though it's a double monofilament cap from Amore that it's so different seeming from the other normal Amore double monofilament caps that they have until I realized one difference just now before I sat down to film this video is that this is, I, I'm pretty sure, this might not be true, I'm pretty sure that this is the only wig as part of the Amore collection that has the combination of double monofilament and lace front. So I'm wondering if for some reason connecting the lace front to the double monofilament is what caused it to be more like crinkly. So I have a theory that it has something to do with the combination of lace front and double monofilament. Whereas other wigs they have with lace front as part of the Amore collection have different cap constructions. So like for example the XO Plus collection which I really love the cap construction of. The two wigs with that cap construction are Marley and Phoenix XO which I love that cap construction probably the best of all the ones that they've released. That one has a double lace cap which to me looks and feels the same as double monofilament. Um, but I'm wondering if maybe the combination of double lace with the lace front creates like a more coherent connection between the cap. And it also just looks very natural in the transition, whereas this definitely looks natural for sure on top, but it just, something about double monofilament just seems so different and I'm wondering if that's why. So overall, do I love this wig? Absolutely. I think the style is really great and it's comfortable and I like the lace front a lot and it still looks very natural. I just did have a little bit of concern about of the, um, the cap, how it feels very different than their other caps. And it's still comfortable, it's just like, I, I really, I can't tell if it's a sizing issue or if that's just a difference with this cap compared to the other Amore collection wigs. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have Ivana as well. Let me know if you've tried the other cap constructions that Ivana comes in. So I'm pretty sure now it comes in standard cap with the Rene of Paris collection 
and also a partial monofilament cap with Rene of Paris, and then now the double monofilament cap came out with the Amour collection. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more other videos about wigs and fashion and all that good stuff. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I will try to get back to all of you if I can. And if you want to send me a message on Instagram or on my Facebook profile, if you want to ask me a question that you don't want to post publicly, you can feel free to find those links in the description of this video because I know that some people are more closed off about having alopecia and wearing wigs and don't want to comment publicly about it. So if you want to private message me anything, you're always welcome to do that as well. I try to answer all the messages. Sometimes I don't see them all. So if I don't answer you, it's not because I'm ignoring you. It's because I didn't see it. And I always feel so bad when I realize I have a message for like weeks and never saw it. And I'm like, oh no, I'm so sorry. So I definitely try to get back to you everyone if I can. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.